Monad Mainnet is live with over 100 apps. But what can you do on the mainnet? Hey guys, this is Tang from the Stacksido team and today I'm going to show you how to navigate through Monad Mainnet. So on app.monad.xyz, just head over to Bridge and select Monad Native Bridge, which is powered by Wormhole and Axelar. And from here, you can select uh, which chain you want to bridge your token from. Um, for example, I will bridge uh, USDT on Arbitrum to um, Mon on Monad to use for gas fee. And you can select whether you want to have the fastest option or cheapest options. After you select uh, all the information, you click on uh, confirm and sign the transaction in your wallet. So after that, uh, you just need to wait between 10 to 30 seconds for the fund to arrive into your uh, wallet on Monad Mainnet. All right, so if you go back to app.monad.xyz, you can go to the swap sections. Um, so they have a lot of decks here, but uh, I will show you how to use Kuru, which is also a DEX, which is a DEX and also a DEX aggregators. Uh, from here, you can select uh, any token that you want to swap to. Um, so, for example, you can swap from USDC to Mon tokens. And if you click onto the Discover tabs, um, you can see all the trending tokens, including memes and the new token here. In the portfolio section, you will be able to see all your positions. And in the liquidity sections, you can uh, select which pool you want to provide liquidity into. Um, I think this one is really hard to uh, understand for beginners. So you can try out the vault tab. Um, so currently they have the month AUSD vault, uh, which around 250% APY. Uh, so this vault have a very high APY because they have good reward uh, in AUSD and uh, Rapmon tokens. So if you profile liquidity into this vault, uh, your token will be locked up for four days um, so if you want to provide liquidity between a stable stablecoin and um, Monad, uh, so if you want to provide liquidity between stablecoin and Mon tokens, you can try out this pool. Um, now let's go back to the app.monad.xyz website. And if you scroll down a little bit, uh, you can see the staking power the network where you can stake your token. Uh, so if you click on the Monad dashboard, Um, so from this website, you can see that uh, the staking APY is like 15%.45% uh, and 25 mon reward per lock will be distributed. Uh, you can uh, input the amount of mon token that you want to stake into uh, this one and click on continue. And after that, you can select the validators. And if you want to support us and our contents, you can search for Stacksido and click on Stacksido and click Stack Month and sign the transactions. And after you sign the transactions, everything is done. The stack is successful. So if you want to unstack your Mon tokens, uh, you need to click on Undelegate. And you need to wait for one epoch from the time that you stake your token to the time that you can undelegate. So that is about 5.5 hours. And it will take you like uh, 11 hours to unstake your token. And like after 11 hours, your mon will be fully liquid. So let's back to the main website and scrolling down a little bit. Uh, here they have curated vault. And if you look uh, onto the upship vault, um, they currently have the AUSD vault. Um, which have around 25% APY, uh, which I think is insanely high for um, a stablecoin vault, where, um, so basically what they are doing is they use your AUSD and block into a different lending protocol uh, in, in order to get the highest yields. And they also get the incentive for, from Monad Foundations. So most of your incentive is in Mon tokens. And if you table sit into this vault, you will have a withdrawal period of four days, but you will also earn the upship point. Now, let back to the main website and scrolling, continue scrolling down a little bit more. You can see all the options, all the apps on Monad that uh, they recommend you to try out, 
including spot trading, perp trading, launchpad like NAT.fund um, or lending protocols. Uh, I want to introduce a bit about Morpho, uh, where they they have extremely high APY for providing liquidity for AUSD. Um, so currently it's uh, around 19.29% uh, when you provide liquidity on Morpho uh, and you will receive um, more tokens as the reward. The benefit of this vote is that you don't have to wait four days to um, withdraw your fund compared to the upship vault. Um, they also have gaming and uh, prediction market applications and also the Mint Hub uh, built by the Shapi Shield teams. Now we head over to the App Hub. If you click on the show filters and you can see that they uh, list all the app in different categories. In DeFi, they have trading, leverage trading, use, borrowing and lending and buy, et cetera, et cetera. And then in consumer, you have prediction market, spot, collectible, which is NFT, entertainment or social, and also AI applications. Um, in the reward tabs, you can see all the apps that currently have reward. Uh, either they have a Monad reward or Monad and their own token or their future token reward. And if you look into the Monad momentum, uh, so this is all the app that got selected by uh, Monad campaign. Uh, all the app that got selected by Monad, and uh, these app will receive uh, more months incentive from the foundation. So I will wait until uh, these app release more details on their mechanism and how they distribute the reward. And I will record a tutorial video on how to use and farm the apps and also earn high rewards. So stay tuned for that. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy the contents of this video. Uh, follow us and stick with Stexido for more content like this. See you.